my 45 uh, odd years of business and uh, business life experience, of course, I've seen many people using their high office, their position, uh, what they got in hand for different purposes. Yeah. I don't have to tell you what you can do with it. You can represent, you can enrich yourself, you can do all sorts of things. But in this case, everybody I've met so far, and I met, I think, in total some 20 first ladies, and some of you I've met uh, several times already, I was always deeply impressed that all these things are of no, no real importance for you. All right, we all enjoyed the fashion show yesterday evening. It was great. But your aim really is to serve your country. Uh, and, do, and you do it with the means you got uh, through your elevated position. And that's something very, very special because it's not normal. And as I said yesterday, this institution of the First Lady, and of course, joining First Ladies, you are creating far more power in it because we all need strength and we get strength from other people as well. Um, uh, it's quite amazing what you have achieved in this very, very short time. And I really am deeply moved by all the statements, all, every, uh, every First Lady, every Excellency did it in her, in her own words. But at the end, the aim we all have is the same. We are all born, as one would say in English, with a silver spoon in our mouth. Uh, but of course, there's only a very small percentage, percentage of the world population. Most, the vast majority, are living really in not very pleasant circumstances, if not in terrible circumstances. As you know, I traveled Africa uh, for the last 25, 30 years intensively in, in areas where no tourist normally goes, and I've seen a lot of suffering. Uh, and, and of course, the suffering, some of you mentioned, uh, particularly on the cancer side, you don't see. So I myself, I had cancer. Yeah, there's no problem with that. I was treated because I had the aims uh, to, to take advantage of modern medicine, of regular checkups, and so on. So I think what we do, these two main things, to train uh, doctors, increase capacity on the one hand, and the other, other hand, of course, give a new hope, give new life to women, I've got three daughters, so I'm, I'm, it's even when they live in Germany, for them it's also in their own environment not that easy, uh, to really to empower them to lead a fru fruitful life. And uh, of course, I have to say, you're always giving me also a bit of the credit, but it's at the end, it's my colleague, uh, Dr. Rasha. She, no, not really Rasha, she is uh, powerful, she's doing it. All I can do, I can support her, I can uh, help her back free, I can give her uh, funding and so on. But the task is up for her. She is doing it. And of course, without you, yeah, she could not do it. Yeah? You are instrumental in doing it in your own country, in your own way, using the influence also your husbands have, which is totally uh, legitimate, totally legitimate, uh, to improve the life of the people who live in your country. So thank you very much for that. I must say, since uh, we did this program, I had so many wonderful meetings with wonderful people, uh, which you normally do not meet, yeah, because there's no chance that we would meet otherwise normally. Yeah? Even I would meet your husbands, it would always be different. So that's great, because there are always two sides to it, uh, the personal side, which I really do enjoy, believe me, uh, and of course also the professional side, and I have to be honest, which I even enjoy more, because I see uh, we are making enormous progress in every single country we are making this progress. So thank you for that. I think your trip to uh, this beautiful country, Ghana, was worthwhile. It gave us a new boost of uh, commitment, a new boost of better understanding, a new boost of bonding, which is all part of the whole story. <laughs>